Hello and welcome to a new video of the Second Great War mods for Age of History 2. Today we will be looking at the changes made in update 1.1 and which countries get an inventory and which not for the updates. So as you can see many things have already changed even visually. So you can see the map has changed and the title of the game has changed. The UI of the game has also changed so now things look pretty different. And the color palette of the countries has also changed so now they look more like the Hoi 4 ones. So today we will be showing off Norway and the event tree, but I want to recap all the countries that are being uh, uh, updated in this update. And the ones that will be giving completely new event trees are Austria, Norway, Sweden, Denmark and Canada, which I showed in the last video. And there are new events added to previous countries like Germany and the United Kingdom. And there is an event chain for the collapse of the United Kingdom when the Germans invade. So now new Reich Kommissariats have been created for the United Kingdom, as well as new events for the nation of Mexico, Mexico even if not a complete uh, inventory. And generally more stuff has been added to the game, so yeah, just don't download the mod when it's out. Let's start putting the settings up and start the game. First of all we will put our coins into economy, because we don't really have good economy and military to sustain our armies that will come with events. And get our money up. Okay, the first event is Norway's role in the European continent. As Europe is slowly falling into chaos once again, the Kingdom of Norway will have to choose its path. As the European continent is split apart by radical ideologies and anti Semitic thoughts are all over the world. We shall wait and see, we should prepare for the worst scenario, or we should simply focus on the nation. What I will do is we should prepare for the worst scenario because we can never know what happens. We'll gain some money and some tech, which we will like uh, immediately updates. Next event, the question of defense. To ensure the Norwegian nation will survive the following centuries which will come, we will have to ask ourselves, who is our ally? With the Prime Minister Johan Nielgesvård suggesting we should align with Scandinavia more. We can even improve with Sweden, the Allies or the Soviets. What I will do is improve with the Sweden, because it's our neighbor. And the most likely person to attack it is not. Let's continue the game. So this is the German threats, and certainly the German war machine is starting to heat up once more, but notice will National Socialist Government put their power wishing to expand their ideology upon others. Discussing with the High Command we should create a possible plan, this is just all reacting that Germans would never do such a thing, we will start discussing the plan. Norwegian Army, the new era of Europe has possibly come uh, coming with an iron fist, and yet the Norwegian Army isn't at its peak. As the journals Carl Gustav Pleasure and Christian Lack suggest uh, increasing the funding. We can increase the funding or expand the military factories to create planes and just go with that. Sweden, we don't have really much of a problem with treasury but still have some money, we'll increase uh, the army and get some here. A grey letter. At around 2.47pm in a rainy day, as the king was sitting in his office, he got a gifted letter, but not any ordinary letter as it contained a suggestion from the top high commanders of the Norwegian army, with Otto Bruch, Berger uh, Lundberg and Lakob Ager Laurenson, all the three of them, suggesting their own plan in case of a supposed German invasion. Let's see what this is. Plan A, Operation Trondheim, a suggested plan by Jakob Eger Laurenson. As the Germans will most likely aim for our coastal capital Oslo, we should encircle them right in the capital with all forces. Their main army would be trapped in the city, allowing us to counter the German invasion. So this makes sense, but I will want to see the other plans that are for Norway. We'll scan a big boost in technology, which we will spend on administration, again to gain some more money. Main economic focus. The political situation of Norway is rather interesting. This is why we will have to decide now who will be the most qualified person in such a position. We can even go with a mixed economy, which will give us some money and some development. We can go with a, a mostly socialist economy, which will just give us development and economy. And we can go with a, a right-wing economic fair, uh, policy, so a less is fair, I suppose. And gain some economy and some movement points, but uh, reduce our happiness. Uh, we will choose a mixed economy. Operation Ostfold. This is Plan B, suggested by Berger Lynchberg. Uh, this probably this plan has Trondheim being like the main defense points for the Norwegian army. 
which will probably uh, contract the invasion that will come from here, the Germans, apparently. And let's go, let's see, uh, we can even go with a great plan and gain some units in Trondheim and the near provinces, or see uh, that it could fail completely. I think this is a more rational one, because if they do invade, having some troops here would probably stop them. So yeah, let's get the troops here and let's put them even a bit here. Well, most of them here. Most of them in Trondheim. Let's continue going. Let's see how the rest of Europe is faring. Nothing too far off. The Spanish Civil War is set up, of course. Uh, Italy went for the diplomatic pact with Abyssinia. Germany's going diplomatic. We're losing some money, of course, because of our economy not really doing that good. Germany has started the invasion of Belgium, as it usually does at this point. Balance with Italy has maintained itself, and they're also allied with Abyssinia. German diplomats arrive in Oslo for deals. German diplomats arrive in Oslo wanting to extend the talks about the Norwegian German trading, more specifically about them exporting iron. Go away, fascist gun. We're not giving you any iron, or let's keep this trading going. Or even uh, just come another day. Since we don't have good relations with Germany, or at least not that good, minus five, we will continue trading with them. It's not like it's gonna impact anything. They will gain a lot of tech growth. Relations souring with Germany. For no apparent reason, with the German Reich has cut diplomatic ties with us. For no reason, we might have fell in the trap of the devil himself. Go lords, uh, quick mobilize the army. We can mobilize or not mobilize, and since we already have a big army in the states, I don't think mobilizing will do anything. But we will sour relations with Germany in any case. The Trotsky's problem. Ever since Trotsky arrived in our nation, the Soviet-Norwegian relations were put on hold, and post it started decreasing. We need to do something about it. So what's the relation with the Soviets? Completely neutral for now. We can even give them back and improve our relations with them, or we can gain some happiness and not do that. But we wouldn't want the Soviets attacking us, so we will give them back. We'll probably kill them, let's be honest. Far-left people march in the city of Alessund. Okay, so since we give... Uh, uh, you know, Trotsky to the Soviets, we will get some rebellions. On January 19th, 18th, 1938, supporters of the Socialist Bernays Party and other far-left supporters made a march in the city of Alessand to show their workers unity. Crack down on the protesters and we'll gain some un uh, units in uh, Alessand, but we will decrease our happiness in the city and development. So this is like the protests for the giving up of Trotsky. We probably have, will have some consequences. See how the rest of the world is doing. Pretty great, pretty normal. Okay. Egypt has declared a war against the United Kingdom, so it's revolving. And the Second Sino Japanese War has started. We're losing a lot of money, so I think we should try to decrease our army, just because, you know, we don't want it to completely ruin our economy. Still losing. So the Anschluss has happened successfully, and now Germans are against Czechoslovakia. Workers' Day. With the recent Alison incident alongside poor state of the working class, crowds of angry workers and socialists rose up in Stavanger, calling out government after their action in the city of Alison. We can even crack down as well, or apologize and try to calm them down. I think we will crack down against them as well, even if it will reduce our happiness a lot. Try improving the happiness of this country, just decreasing the taxes, I guess. Federal troops here. Norway erupts into civil war. Nobody could save Norway from the communist threat, as armed workers are rising up in the north. Tons of socialist supporters rising up on the west coast were standing alone against this red threat. So we now have to go against the communists. Since we suppressed the re revolution so much, now we have to fight against them. Our happiness is very low, so we'll have to deal with that too. Okay, so we will have to prepare against this war. We do have quite the amount of units, so we'll have to prepare our best. As you can see, we're already trying to invade. 
get our troops north. See if this is enough. Okay, so managed to defeat that army. I don't think this should be too difficult because they don't have enough to... Okay, so they do have some troops, but they don't have the manpower to fight against us. I think that's the winning factor of our fronts. Let's go to Trondheim and try to take it back. Then go to Leitzvik and Slankler. I think this is going pretty well. Victory for the Marxists. Norwegian neurologists in the Civil War, as the last revolution armies have been put down by the Norwegian divisions. So we'll annex our enemies and fight against them. Fully annex the lands. Full resertion of Norway. But we do lose part of our states. We can try conquering back as soon as we can. And we will try doing it, because we don't really have anything to lose. We did get a truce, but we need more time to win the Civil War. Let's get back to Trondheim. Hopefully we won't have enough time to raise any troops, and we will just steamroll them, like before. Successful operation. We now can completely annex them and have no problem against them. And once again, Norway is unified. We just need this little bit, but we'll have to wait against it. The winter war has started against uh, Finland and Sweden. And Germany has managed to uh, gather a pact with Poland to not attack them. So we have managed to get the Danzig Corridor back. So now Poland won't go a war with Germany. We might even avoid the World War II completely. Also, Soviets have landed in uh, Bulgaria and fully annexed it. So that is quite interesting. Egypt has completely lost the war. And Germany has partitioned Czechoslovakia. So the war against uh, Poland from the Soviet Union has started. Since the pact with Germany happened, they won't declare war against them. But if they do lose, if Poland loses, Germany will still come in and swipe the lands in the west from them. Pierce, Latvia will be the first to lose. Also, Romania has joined against the Soviets. The Balkan Pact. The Balkan Pact has uh, conquered uh, Bulgaria, Soviet Bulgaria and have declared war against the Soviets, so now the Soviets have to deal with basically all of Eastern Europe and the Balkans. It's not nothing, it's not nothing. Now I think our best option is to just, you know, declare war against this little stuff and get it back, and finally unify Norway with a single state. Finally, Norway is fully united without any enemy and uh, rival in the Norwegian state. So the civil war has been successfully won. Also, it seems the Soviets are being able to go against the Polish and they managed to annex them, even if a bit of Poland survived. Oh, no, it didn't. So now that Norway is united, we shouldn't get any problems or problematic events. Not until the Germans decide to invade us, but that is not what happens most of the times. Most of the times we want to concentrate on our stuff, and since we took a very diplomatic policy, they didn't even start World War II, I thought, okay, never mind, they already just went to war with the entirety of the Balkan Pact that is already at war with the Soviets. So this is like the, the Poland of our timeline, it's a war of part of people that are at war with everybody. Also the Italian Albanians are already starting to go to war. But appears they won't survive, even if they have this territory. So Albania has been already partitioned between the Soviets, uh, between the Greeks and the Yugoslavs. And unfortunately, since this happens, Germany has started World War II. So now, even if Sweden has declared their allegiance to Germany, as long as even Finland, so now they're all in this. Also, Sweden went for their authoritarian monarchist path. But anyway, yeah, Germany has a big alliance, but I don't think it will manage to survive against the entirety of the Allies, plus the Balkan Pact, plus the Soviets. 
but that is to see, of course, we can know for certain. Also appears Japan has successfully made an invasion of China, and they are in the Axis. The Germans have managed to successfully get back their lands, even with some problems, and apparently the Italians have completely failed at surviving in Europe, but they managed to gain Tunisia and some lands in Africa, and their Abyssinian allies are doing a lot of work. Iran is still against the war wars, and the Soviets have their own faction with their puppets in, or not so puppets, but still, you know, mostly puppets, in Central and Eastern Asia. Also appears that Lilac and India have managed to declare a brief independence from the United Kingdom here. So since Germany has no intention to actually declare war against the Nordics, we should be fine. I don't think that uh, uh, asking for a union with Sweden could work, or Denmark for is that the case. So unfortunately we have to finish the episode now here. We show the event history of Norway and how it actually goes. I hope you liked this video and see you next time, subscribe to the channel if you want the update uh, link as soon as it comes out, so it should be tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, and see you in the next video.